Red Hand TV. Dr. Alu Oyoji Wamako is the chairman CEO Jedo Investment Company Limited and also the outgoing president of the Real Estate Developers Association of Nigeria, Redan. Dr. Wamako is leaving behind a legacy of significant achievements and contribution to the real estate sector in Nigeria. During his tenure, Wamako worked tirelessly to promote the growth and development of Redan leaving a lasting impact on the association. He has been given series of awards for his efforts to make sure that Redan is well known across the country. Redan TV has the few details. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Uh, thanks and the blessing of Allah and uh, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, uh, Prophet Muhammad. I thank God for everything. For us, it's not a joke. Uh, even though we started in a very difficult period during the COVID-19 era, uh, we thank God for what he has done to us. We are able to manage the difficult and trying period uh, to make sure that at least uh, Raiden is being fostered uh, at a better stage than what I met it at that time. Uh, we have started the affairs of Raiden, me and the 6th ESCO. I will start by thanking my colleagues, uh, the 6th ESCO of Raiden, which I chaired as the council chairman. I sincerely thank them for their contribution and uh, doggedness uh, based on uh, the affairs that lead to where we are today in Raiden. Uh, what we met Raiden before was just uh, about 97, less than 100 financial members. I thank God today we are talking about 3,500 members and uh, we have uh, made sure that we increase our relationship with other uh, agencies uh, like SCUMO, EFCC, ICPC, NFIU, DSS, at least we have a good relationship now. So Raiden has come of age uh, as the stakeholder in the housing industry. At least our voice is heard and uh, we are respected and uh, we are being honored for us to give our uh, family advice in the aspect of housing industry. Uh, we sincerely thank all our colleagues, uh, all the professional bodies, that we have been starting these affairs with them. Uh, on the course of this uh, uh, leadership, I was honored by several uh, organizations, individuals, and the stakeholders in the housing industry. I use this opportunity to thank all of them uh, for the opportunity given to me, and more also uh, for the awards that they honored me for me to do more. And that makes me, uh, that's what makes it uh, to me as a lubricant that I move forward and I continue to move forward to make sure that reading is better as it is today. Thank you. Uh, some of the awards that were given to me during the tenure of this office, uh, I was given a fellow institute of builders, a helmet of fellowship uh, from credit uh, society, credit management.
also will be a lot. And I believe this is done to honor me for the good job that we have been doing in Yemen. And I believe so many people appreciate it. I sincerely thank the Secretariat of Yemen for giving us a befitting acknowledgement and. I, I need to thank radio staff sincerely because without their perseverance and despite all difficulties during the COVID-19, I would not have been where we are today. So they serve as an angel for the cross of radio and I sincerely thank them so much. And I also urge uh, anybody that is coming in to take them too serious because without the radio sectarian, you can with Shelter Africa, uh, more than 16 of our developers have already uh, submitted their application uh, for loan. Because you see, you cannot go to the commercial bank and take a loan, so we have to go to the DFIs, uh, which we believe they will give us at a better interest rate. And uh, we are almost there. Uh, by the grace of God, either myself or this coming administration, the plug off of these houses will come. And that will bring a lot of jobs to Nigerians, reduce the housing deficit, and also create an economic viability within the area we are talking about. Thank you so much. Okay. Alaji Aliu Oroji Wamako is somebody I've got to know personally and officially. I've had the opportunity of working with him uh, in the two ESCO now, the one before last and the current one. And I think, speaking personally, I want to appreciate God for making me know him. A man of resilience, a man of virtue, a man uh, that is so committed to any cause I believe in. I, I think we can't be, um, we can appreciate him better, you know. It's, we just thank God for, for health and for wisdom for him. The association uh, should be more than grateful for having him at the hands of our fair. Uh, the last three years particularly has been uh, one of tremendous uh, transformation for Redham. 
you know, Redan has experienced maturity, has experienced growth, and of course, visibility, and uh, more importantly, too, acceptance, you know. So, uh, if you have to judge him, I think so far, uh, he has done exceedingly very well, and uh, posterity is going to judge him uh, nicely at the end of the day, you know. Okay. Then I, I, I will start by saying congratulations to Dr. Ali Orojewaru Kung. He came, he saw, and he has conquered. The truth is whatever you say about Wamuku, you cannot take away the fact that he has popularized Redan. Uh, those who came before him, they did their very best to make sure that Redan stands on its feet. And when he came, he built on that, on that and gave Redan a first lift. He made sure that uh, Redan is known all over the country. And in addition to that, he also institutionalized Redan into governmental activities by also trying to make sure that uh, uh, Redan is in alliance with almost all the governmental agencies, including uh, the uh, security agencies and, of course, agencies that are charged with economic financial crimes and EFCC itself. Uh, ICPC itself. Uh, the, the, the relationship between Skumo and Rezan has helped a lot to fight uh, money laundering, which is uh, one of the problems that Nigeria is facing. So I, I must say that Ali Wamoku has tried very well, uh, including the area of uh, trying to get legislation for the Real Estate Developers uh, Association. Uh, we are going to miss him very greatly, of course. But I must add that uh, you know whoever is taking over from him has a big challenge because it is, it is very easy to state a standard, but very difficult to maintain that standard. So the standard set by Ramoku will be a very big challenge to whoever is coming to take over from him. Uh, th that I can assure you. But I, I hope that whoever is coming will work closely with Ramoku to make sure that the dreams and aspirations of Wamuku and some of those good things that Wamuku started will not be allowed to die. Okay. Okay. Aliu Wamako, the outgoing president of Red, and I said I've been here as director of SCUMO for three years. And within this period of three years, I've had cause to meet with uh, Elijah Wamako on several occasions, uh, both in my office, in his office, and uh, at various uh, at various fora, uh, conferences. And one thing I can uh, easily take away uh, from Elijah Wamako is his passion and commitment to ensuring that Reda is strong, stable, and and uh, ready to work with relevant government agencies and comply you know with the law is always very ready to bring in the best of brains uh, to speak to his people and quick to know what the law is uh, quick to uh, advancing um, uh, the importance of compliance you know to his members in Redan and to the operators and I see that as uh, as very welcoming because the best practice is that there should be uh, cooperation and collaboration between public and private sector uh, players. And that was clearly expressed by Dr. Wamako and it made the job easier for the regulator because uh, RADA uh, within the AMSCFT space is considered as what we call SROB, self-regulatory body. Uh, so once you have a willing self-regulatory body, you know, it makes the job easier for the government regulatory authority because uh, they will enforce compliance on their members and ensure that uh, they do the right thing. And that was a relationship that was very well established between this department and Redan under the leadership of Dr. Wamako. And it's something that we do not uh, uh, hope to, to vanish you know, uh, following his uh, essays, we, we hope that the, the organization would rather keep the fire and the light burning 
and uh, ensure that the collaboration is sustained and uh, you know leave, his, leave the doors open just like Wamako did. I could call him at any given point in time uh, on any issue of national interest that the players in real estate will have to deal with. He will just call his executive secretary. Please immediately go to Skumo, ensure that all that is required by government is done and is as good as done. So for us, that was, uh, that was a practice that we really enjoyed uh, with RIDA. So we are quick to put them forward when we have international uh, visitors as to how the real estate sector players are playing their role in terms of uh, complying with the uh, anti money laundry requirement. We are quick to call Wamako, please bring your team, because we know that he's very expressive uh, in terms of his uh, interest and, uh, and, uh, and, and passion to see that the, the requirement under the Financial Action Tax Force is meant and complied with by all operators within the real estate sector. He's somebody that is very, uh, I would say, is very uh, uncomfortable with poor perception of quacks operating within that space. He is very committed to having a properly regulated sector supported and backed by law such that you can figure out and fish out those who are not doing the right thing and sanctions can be meted out. I think that's an area where he was pushing really hard to see that um, uh, you, you have a very well structured organization where compliance will be easier for reader. Uh, not making it as something that they are not fully backed by law, but the one that, yes, it does have strong legal backing to do their job as a chef regulatory body. So for me, I, I, I would uh, I would commend the period that I've had the privilege of working closely with uh, Dr. Com uh, Wamako. These are my few words. Okay. My name is um, Anthony Oma. I'm the general manager of Jedo Investment Company Limited. I want to seize this opportunity first of all to congratulate uh, my chairman, Dr. Alaji Aliu Oroji Wamako, for his um, successful tenure as the Redan president. For the past four years, I know he has led Redan in a way that he has taken Redan to a greater height. Um, compared to other administration, for him he has been able to increase um, the number of um, members to the association. He has also played a pivotal role in terms of um, um, creating bills that have been passed at the National Assembly. At, I think at the Ninth Assembly he was able to do that and um, the bills have been passed in the Senate to regulate um, the real estate um, industries and um, he has done quite a lot in this um, short period of time that he has um, stirred the affairs of um, Redan. I sincerely want to congratulate him and I wish him very well in his new endeavor. God bless him richly. Okay. My name is Mrs. Adekunle. I'm the AGM Finance of Jedo Investment Company Limited. Talking about my chairman, which is the Redan president, is a man that everyone would like to work with and is a caring and a loving personality. Like I said, everybody will want to work with him. In respect of Redan, we know that indeed he has been a plus to that organization and never a minus. And I know they are going to miss him. I know that he's not going to leave people totally. That is, he's not going to leave Redan totally. He's going to be part of Redan for life as far as I'm concerned. Therefore, I, I am saying that Redan as an organization should be grateful to have Dr. Ali Womako as part of them. For all the, I mean, for all he has added to the organization, they will never forget him for that. Are you a realtor struggling with the self-confidence, compels, 
on the 10th of March, we're hosting a global training titled Building Your Self-Confidence as a Realtor. This training will enable you to understand the purpose of self-confidence in selling real estate. Click on the link below to register for this event. Let's win together. See you there. Bye. Red and TV, first hand real estate channel.